sure guys welcome to today's video i'll be showing you guys how to build an interesting ama piano bass line and also how you can tweak your log drum to make your bass line sound more punchy and groovy just like on a gabza the small songs i'm not saying this is how it does it but um this is exactly how i'll go about it to achieve the same technique so just make sure to watch this video towards the end don't forget to subscribe if you're new to the channel Feel free to, you know, drop a comment. Let me know what you guys think about the video. Um, also share for other producers to watch the content. Otherwise, let's just get into it. So this is the project that I have here. It's a beat that has no baseline on it. So we're going to be adding a baseline, an interesting baseline that's going to correspond with the key of the song. I'm going to show you how to do that using um, mainly log drum and e flute these are fo studio stock plugins so you don't have to be using any external vsts so let me just start off with the intro part of the song just to show you um where the song is coming from the drum kit let's start off with the drum kit first um that's the drum sequence and then there are loops that are being used there as you can see and then there's um, a chord progression right here and then now here at this bar there's um chord progression i'm just gonna dive into it So that's it guys, um, this is what's done so far, but then we all know what sound element um, makes Ama Piano beats more nicer is the bass line, which is what this song is missing right now. So we're going to be adding it. Um, the first thing we're going to do is add um, a log drum. Log drum. And I'm going to be using my presets guys. So. You guys can go download these presets as well on my store. It's log drum presets. So I'm going to layer it with another log drum as well. All right. And also let me layer it with, um, I'm going to layer, layer it with the, with a tube, tube base. Right, there we go and also i'll layer it with the e flute let me not forget the e flute to make it um, have that tail that sustaining tail just gonna go there and then i will add all of these to my mixer so just hold Control shift select them all and then just go to an empty track and then hold Control shift and l to link them to your mixer so i'm gonna highlight each of these select an empty track and then go to track routing create sub mix and then just create a i mean a, a, a base master right let me just color this green just to make sure i identify them on the mixer so the first thing I'm going to do is add pattern 6 to my playlist. It's an empty pattern. This is the pattern where I'll be adding my bass line. But then I'll just paste it right underneath here where I have my organ playing. It's a piano or organ, whatever it is. Just to make sure that I will still be playing in key with the chord progression from the organ. So let me just go to my piano roll and then start pasting my um, notes for my bass line. Okay, let me just take it an octave downwards, but still on the A, A note. 
so i just got guide from my um ghost note so a is my root note right so i'm just using help from my ghost note Right, so now we created our sustaining base, but then now I'm, I'll, I'll be chopping it just to give, um, you know, that grooviness and also make sure that you play around with your swing in order to make it more groovy. So I will just be making use of this chopping tool. Um, let's now so let's chop the last section Um, now we can take this off, cut it, and then take it to pattern six. Uh, is it pattern seven? Pattern six. Then paste it here, copy, and then paste it on these other presets. Okay, what I'm gonna do now is in order to mix it well, I will focus mostly on my master now. So I will add an EQ. I'll also add a soft clipper just to make sure that we don't have any unwanted loudness. Let's add a soft clipper and also uh, a fruity limiter. So for the EQ, uh, we're only going to use it to give our baseline um, that punchiness. And then for the soft clipper, we can um, just get rid of unwanted loudness. And 
make sure that it's um, equally balanced on either side of the ear. As you can see now, it's equally balanced. Let's just increase our threshold now. I don't think there's any need for the limiter, but then the limiter can just give gain or take gain away from our baseline. So I think it does not have any use in this scenario, so we can take it off. So now let's see how this baseline blends in with our song. So as we all know, Ama Piano songs have that, um, you know, that massive drop where um, be right before the drop, there's um, chords playing from the organs or piano. And then as the mini drop comes in, um, the piano isn't playing, but it's only the bass line that is giving the song the full drive of it. So we're going to let the chords play right here with no bass line. And then at this section where there's a drop, as you can see, there's a lot of percussions playing, but then there's no organs playing. But then now we're going to introduce our bass line, the one we just created. Let's just hear how that will play. So actually, now that um, we are playing on my bass line um, along with the full song, now I can hear that actually there's a need for a fruity limiter to give the entire bass line a gain. This is to make it more punchy and also another technique we can we can use to uh, make our bass line more audible and punchy is to make sure that our kick is soft if you can hear to the kick that is being used here it sounds soft and also just check the levels here on the mixer it's below negative 12 decibels and then your bass line is overpowering the kick. That's also another rule for Ama Piano. We want to listen to more of the bass line more than the kick, unlike Deep House and Afro. So we can just play this part again until we're confident with our mixing of the bass line. So that is it for today's video guys i hope you guys um learned um a few techniques that i had to share with you guys today also uh, make sure to go download the presets that i used for um the baselines 
um, they are available on my store. I'll leave a link down in the description and also by the comments. Also, if you want the full project, it's available. I mean, the, the full project that I was dealing with here, it's available on my store for purchase. Make sure to go uh, purchase support, you know, also help the channel grow. And also, um, this is going to help me to give back to you guys through remix competitions that i'll be hosting very soon uh thanks for watching i'll catch you on my next video